hope everybody's doing well. My name is Joe Inkelm, if you're not familiar with my channel. And today's video, as you can see by the title, is going to be a what's in the bag. So if you don't know what that is, it's basically going to be pretty self-explanatory. What's actually in my gym bag, what I bring to the gym day to day, based on whatever day I'm doing, whether that's a leg day, back, biceps, chest, etc. So I've been wanting to do this for a while now for my channel, just simply to show someone who's a beginning lifter, what you need and what you don't really need. So. The first item I have, which is not really typically always in my gym bag, but it's something that I have and is very vital to my gym career and just overall health in general, and that's going to be a foam roller. So this is something that you can find at a local Walgreens, Walmart even, definitely like a sports authority or sports equipment store, and it's going to run you a little bit pricey depending on what kind you get, solid foam, plastic, etc., but this is also something you can find at your local gym. Even commercial gyms are going to have this. It's great for rolling out your back, just staying loose, and it can be done even after your workouts when you're at home and just resting. So that's going to be the first thing. So the next item is actually something I'm going to be doing a separate full review on just simply because it is a popular item that a lot of people are looking to buy and want more information on. So it's going to be the Inzer Lever Belt. And I went with the 10 millimeter thickness. There is a 13 millimeter thickness, which is obviously going to be a little bit thicker. And I did go with a size medium. This is the black, and it's probably the quickest shipping I've ever read was actually experienced by me. This was actually shipped to me in less than a week, and I've heard a lot of horror stories of people buying colors and even just the black belt having it take multiple weeks to get. So I'm overall very happy with this, but I'm not going to talk too much further about this just simply because I'm going to be making a full review on this separately. So the next item is kind of a controversial item and that's going to be weightlifting straps. So these are actually a version where the strap actually wraps around your wrist and actually velcros and then the other part of the strap which is what you'd actually be using to grab onto the pull up bar, barbell, whatever is actually attached to that velcro area. So this is a kind of a hot, heavier duty version of the strap but there is tons out there for very cheap online for less than ten dollars that are just the straps themselves which will get the job done getting to why it's kind of a controversial topic some people say that oh you don't need straps you should just be able to work on your grip and just get your grip stronger consistently um, I disagree because there is a time and a place for the straps to be used if you're working on hypertrophy work bodybuilding style work just trying to develop your muscles your back is going to give out way later than your forearms so if you're trying to move the most amount of weight through your back you're definitely going to want to get a pair of straps just simply because your forearms are going to give out quicker than your lats and your big back. So that's kind of why I like them. In terms of deadlifts or something like that, I typically use chalk if I'm going to go for a PR. But if you have something at your gym where you're not allowed to use chalk, straps work perfectly. So the next item is going to be a multi-purpose wrist wrap. And the one I specifically own is the Mini Gangster Wraps by Mark Bell and the Slingshot Crew. So if you aren't familiar with him, I am very surprised because he is very well known in the powerlifting community, but um, these are something that I have really, really been happy with, and I was very scared because spending $45, I believe, on them is quite the investment for wrist wraps, but I am very happy with them. They come in this size, which is about 18 inches, I believe, and also a 36 inch size, and this material is like any, unlike any other wrist wrap I've ever owned. So I would definitely recommend it if you plan on using optimal loads, you're a power lifter and you really just want to make sure that your wrists and your joints are as safe as possible, I would highly recommend this. Um, there's two different ways you can wear them, over your wrist like this or just like t the traditional wrist wrap, just on your wrist like this. Sorry if you can't see that, but yeah, so there's multiple ways to use it. I will probably do another review just like the Inzer belt on these just because I have not found a lot of reviews on them before I purchased them. So. I will definitely be doing that for you guys. So the next item in my gym bag is something that I use every single day and that's going to be this first band. So I like to talk about this band first just because it is so essential to my training. I use this for my shoulder dislocations, I use it for my beginning rowing exercises, curls, just a basic warm up to begin and to get my rotator cuffs with blood in them and just making sure that I am warmed up properly before going into whatever movement. I'm doing on that specific day. So I like to talk about this specifically because I do actually have a video on my channel showing my specific warm-up that I do using this sort of band and it's something that you can do 
anywhere really and it's very simple takes less than five minutes and it gets you into a good position before going into those heavy sets where you're not going to hurt injure yourself so nobody wants to get injured and this simple band can help you do that so just wanted to touch on that first and show you how important this really is the next band i have is more of a thicker form of band and i like to use this to stretch out either my legs whether that be my quads and hamstrings by myself and that makes it a little bit easier to not have to do it with a partner and also you can actually string this up on a pull-up bar and do a pec fly stretch which i don't believe i've showed on this channel but i will definitely show that to you guys so you're able to do that at your own gym if you have a band like this um, to your access so hopefully that helps you guys out so next on the agenda is going to be my ray-ban knee sleeves and there are tons of different knee sleeves on the market there are slingshot knee sleeves out right now, SBDs, and the Ray-Bans. That's pretty much the big three that you have out there. But I will tell you that I did start out with a Walgreens pair of Mueller knee sleeves. So you don't need to have an $80 pair of knee sleeves to get the job done and have that knee support and knee warmth that you're looking for. I will say that the Mueller knee sleeves did get a little bit looser, quicker than these Ray-Bans have, which is just going to come along with the price and what you're getting for the price. So that can be said, but I just wanted to show you guys and tell you that I didn't start out with these Ray-Bans right away. But getting to these actually specific Ray-Bans and these specific knee sleeves, they are $40 a piece, I believe, or $45 a piece, which is pretty pricey. And you do have to buy them individually, so don't just buy one thinking you're going to get two. You're not. <laughs> um, but these are great, guys. I am thinking about long term with these. After I get older, my knees aren't going to be as great as they were when I'm in my age now at 19. So I'm looking to keep that longevity going and be able to lift as heavy as possible for as long as possible. So keeping my knees warm, keeping them safe and supported through my squat workouts, especially when I'm going heavy, is very essential. So people ask me all the time, do I think I need these or that do I recommend them? If you have the money, yes. And if you plan to squat heavy for a long period of time for the rest of your life, it's something that I think is something that you should invest in. If you're thinking of doing this for a long period of time, you want to think about your health years in advance. So these along with wrist wraps, things like that, as Mark Bell says, protect yourself before you wreck yourself. It's something that I definitely recommend, guys. So the next item we're going to be touching on is going to be my Addy Power Lifters. And these are the cheaper version with a slightly less raised heel, which I believe is only an inch and a half on these and the Addy Powers are I believe two inches don't quote me on that but I do know that this has a less of a raised heel as the Addy Powers was a more expensive version also compared to like the Romelios by Nike which are also about $180 these are gonna run you only 90 and I know that's quite a bit amount of money but if you're looking to have a little bit more stability in your squat if you're a high bar squatter like myself especially looking for a little bit more ankle mobility and a little bit more hip mobility these are the shoes for you but I do I do want to let you guys know that this is not essential for your squats I used to squat in I believe Nike 6.0's which are probably one of the flatter Nike shoes Nike trainer shoes that there is out there and that I was able to find so I did use those for a lot of my Squatting career in the early years, so I hit 335 with that without a belt and Mueller knee sleeves, which I'll touch on a little bit later in the video when I talk about my knee sleeves now. But I just want you to know that these are not a necessity, guys. These are something that you can use to your advantage if you have the money, but don't feel like you need to have these to be getting results. I just wanted to make sure you guys are aware of that before you go out and spend the money on these thinking you need them. But I will admit they have made my squat a lot more stable and just a lot better all around. So that is my take on whether you need the Addy Power Lifters or not. So I just wanted to thank you guys for watching this video and hopefully you can take something away from it before you go and buy more gym equipment than you might need. I will do a little bit more of in-depth reviews on those two specific items, my Inzer Lever Belt and the um, Gangster Wraps by Mark Bell Slingshot. And like I said, hopefully this is something that you can take something away from, kind of see what I have in my gym bag, what is useful, what isn't. And um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching as always. Please like the video if you did find it helpful and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I will talk to you guys very soon and see you guys then. Yeah, 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 yeah.